Oh, welcome to another advanced MobiRise uh, tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to cover alerts. So this is uh, kind of interesting and just something you can add in especially easy if you have the HTML editor for MobiRise. So what an alert is, if we look at the bootstrap um, documentation you can see that it provides feedback for typical user actions with flexible alert messages. So you've seen these before, they're small color boxes and they have certain types of information in them. Sometimes it's a success message, sometimes it's information, sometimes it's a warning that you're about to do something that you don't want to do. And sometimes it's a, uh, a danger message like if you do this something bad is going to happen. So these are the basic um, alerts. There's also what they call a dismissible alert which has a little X on here. You've seen those before that come up on a website and then you can click the X and it goes away. Right. So I'll show you how to do both of those. Um, so let's start with these basic alerts. Very easy. What we'll do is we'll just copy this one. And actually we can copy and paste all of them just so that we can see what's going on. Uh, in the code. I'm going to go back to MobiRise and we're going to place an HTML block. This looks like a good spot. And let's get rid of this. We don't need this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the code that we just had. Just put some text in there. Just copy and paste that along the way. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four alerts. One will be success, one will be info, one is going to be a warning, and one is going to be danger. And it's this class right here that gives it the color. So success, if you use it in Bootstrap, is green. Info is blue. Warning is usually like a yellow, and danger is uh, red. So if you ever want to add those contextual classes and make something a particular color, uh, you can just add those uh, classes, success, info, warning, danger, to your website, and uh, I mean to the element, and it'll actually color it, those colors. So those are uh, universal to bootstrap. Let's click OK. You can see now we have an, a message. So this is an alert message, and it is uh, it is responsive. So you can see that it goes down in MobiRise, or it'll stretch all the way across the page. Now you could take this this same message and you could put it inside of a MobiRise block, and then it would it would take up whatever amount of space. So you could go into the code, you can unlock the editor, and then you can put one of these one of these contextual messages inside this container so that it goes from here to here and it doesn't go all the way across the page. So let's say you're writing documentation and you wanted to insert some sort of special message here that uh, is different than the text and you want people to make sure that they know it's different, you could just insert it here in the text and then it would show up between these two paragraphs, but it wouldn't go all the way across the page. It would just be from here to here. So that's the basic alert. Uh, you can change this message to anything you want just by changing this. So maybe here's a, a message that you would want to um, give to people on your website when they're coming to your website. Maybe you have a, some sort of alert that you want to let them know about. Um, then you would just type that in and then you would add whatever contextual class that you want. And then there you go. That's what you have. Uh, you have an alert. 
Um, now let's take a look at the alerts. With uh, they're called dismissible alerts. So they add something. Um, they add this class alert dismissible, and then there's a button that you have to add as well. Now the button is uh, the X. So and then you have your um, you have your text here. So let's just copy all of that. And we'll go back to Moby Rise, and then let's just do a we'll do a horizontal roll there, and then we'll put it after that. So this is the text that we copied. Um, it's going to have a button, and the button has the label close, and it's using. Um, times like multiplication so it's using an X and this X is the uh, part that you're going to click so the button is surrounding this X and then whenever you click it um, it's going to close the uh, it's going to close this whole thing so it's going to dismiss the alert okay so that's essentially what's going on <clears throat> so let's take our message from before and we'll actually just copy that into our message now and we'll click OK. So now we have the same message but there's a clickable X here so whenever you click the X it should go away. So you see how that works. Um, let's just add that again and instead of a warning let's do um, success. Success should be green. So now we have our success uh, bar and then we have uh, this uh, X. So that is how you can add, well let me show you how you can add it into uh, a contextual site, like into a contextual block. So let's take this block here and we'll make a few paragraphs. So you can see this is one big block Let's say we want to add an alert here. We unlock the editor. And what we want to do is we want to put it... Um, we want to put it, uh, let's say, right here. that let's get our our code again and it's a little bit uh, a little bit messed up but it'll be okay let's just give it some place here all right and now when we open our code, we should see the dismissible um, message here. So you have the message, and then it's dismissible. Um, or you could just put one that's not. So let's get one that's not dismissible. And it would be like this, maybe an info. <clears throat> Instead of this one, <clears throat> let's put this one, and we'll just copy some text. We'll put that text in here, and then now you can see uh, that there's a little contextual uh, information box or extra information, uh, whatever it would be, and it's actually uh, where you can change uh, the font. So it is actually preserved that uh, because it's inside this block. So it's a, so maybe you want to do a different font for this one that you would do for this one just to make it stand out a little bit. So that's how you add an alert box into your MobiRise editor. And uh, you can find that code at getbootstrap.com components 
slash alerts. So you can see on the right hand side uh, the different types of alerts. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can email me at brian, B R I A N, at highwaywebconsulting.com, or um, you can uh, send me a tweet at Brian Hafferkamp, or um, you can follow me. I encourage you to follow me on the YouTube channel. I'm putting out videos pretty regularly every week. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the, uh, in the comment box underneath the video. And uh, thanks for watching. And we have more videos um, over on my channel. So if you, um, if you just click on my name on this video, you'll be able to go to the channel. And I have some more advanced MobiRise tutorials. And I also have just a basic MobiRise tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.